Let's talk about different ways to avoid getting ripped off on scammy, potentially counterfeit dietary supplements. And the first tip I would give you is be aware that there is a website out there called whois.com, W-H-O-I-S.com. On this website, you can type in any website address that you're interested in, and you can find out when that website was registered by somebody or a company. Now, whois.com can give you a lot of other information sometimes, but knowing the registration date of the website can give you valuable information. For instance, if you looked at a website and you found out that it was registered the month that you're looking at it, well, that might give you an idea that the company may not have been in business very long, and maybe you might want to do some further digging on whether you want to share your information and purchase their supplements. Another thing to consider is take a look at the address of the company that makes the dietary supplement you're thinking about buying. This can be found either on the label of the product or even on the website of the company as well. Type that address into your search engine of choice and take a look at it. What does it look like? What do you actually see? Look around the area. Do you see a building that actually has the company's name on it? If yes, that's a pretty good sign. Do you see a strip mall or maybe a building that might house a whole bunch of other buildings? If so, well, then you may have to do a little more digging to find out more about that company. And while you're there, also see who else shares that address. This can sometimes give you an idea who the parent company of the company might be, but also you might also notice sometimes maybe you see the post office sharing that address. If so, well, then the business is giving you only their P.O. box or something like that as an address. If so, you're going to have to do some more digging to see what their real address is. Something else to look at on the company's website is what is their refund policy? Many times you can find this on the terms and conditions page of a website. That's sometimes found at the bottom of the website. While you're on the terms and conditions page, you can save yourself some time by doing a search just for the words warranty and or guarantee. See how long that warranty is and what the refund policy is like. For example, some companies may give you a 30-day money-back guarantee. However, the 30 days begins not when it arrives at your home, but when you order it. That means you're really getting less than 30 days money-back guarantee. Some guarantees are pretty good. Some guarantees are not so good. So do your due diligence and see if you're comfortable with what their company is offering you. Now, a lot of dietary supplements may also be sold on Amazon or even eBay and other websites. But if you're looking at Amazon, look at the star reviews, specifically look at the three star reviews and the one and two star reviews. Now, I like the three star reviews because they can sometimes be a bit more balanced than either five star reviews or one star reviews. But definitely do take a look at the one and two star reviews and see what people are saying. Sometimes those who give one and two star reviews to a product, either dietary supplement or otherwise, are really annoyed with that product. Read what they have to say, take a look at the pictures they may be posting and ask yourself, is what they're saying relevant to you? And those people who are reporting one and two star reviews on Amazon, are they saying things like the capsules were cracked open or they were different sizes or there was a strange odor or the capsules look different from each other? If so, that's not a good sign. Are they saying that the safety seal was missing on the supplements? If so, I would not take those supplements. As a rule of thumb, if you see dietary supplements advertised by celebrities or former athletes, well, just run. Another tip is to do an online search for the name of the company or the name of the supplement and the letters FTC or FDA. Sometimes if you search for these terms, it can sometimes show up any interactions the company may have had with the Food and Drug Administration or the Federal Trade Commission. Now, if you see anything that has to do with the FDA and the FTC, take a look at those documents, see the date at which they were issued. For instance, if they were issued like 15 years ago, I'm really not going to worry about that too much. But if it's something recent, well, then that's going to get my attention. I'm going to read those documents a little further. Oh, and one more thing about Amazon and eBay, etc. Look at the names of the companies that are selling these supplements. I have seen the same dietary supplement sold by different companies. Companies. And sometimes those companies put dramatically different ingredients in the supplement. Same supplement name, different ingredients. That's a red flag. Now, one way to avoid these counterfeit products is to go directly to the company itself and buy it directly right off their own website. Also, when you're buying supplements online, whether it's Amazon, eBay, or any website, 
Don't buy any dietary supplement where they do not show you the ingredients of that dietary supplement. Call me crazy, but I think you should be able to see the ingredients in the products you're buying. And while we're on the topic, I'm not a fan of proprietary blends. I have seen supplements with 30 different ingredients in a proprietary blend. The problem with proprietary blends is that companies don't have to tell you the actual amounts of each ingredient in the blend. However, we can get around this a little bit by looking at the first two or three ingredients in that blend. The first top ingredients you see are the main ingredients in the proprietary blend. Also, be careful with free samples. You may see advertised online or even on TV where you, maybe you get a free sample, you pay a few bucks and I'll send it to you. Oftentimes when you order one of these free samples, you are locked in to some sort of an auto shipment where after two weeks or 30 days, they will ship you the supplement again for the full price. I have heard from many people over the years who have fallen for this trick and they have gotten walloped by getting bills that they didn't expect they were going to be getting. If you are ordering a free sample, you want to call that company up right away and you want to cancel the auto shipment. And one more thing, if you are ordering a supplement online, do not, I repeat, do not buy that supplement with your bank card. That ties it directly to your checking account. I have heard from people over the years who have had hundreds of dollars sucked directly out of their checking account, left them almost penniless unexpectedly because they gave a company access to their checking or savings account. So instead, use a credit card. This prevents companies from getting access to your money directly, and credit cards may also offer some more protection that a regular bank card might not.